thân thơ ngồi chờ chọi như chó xù chờ sương rơi I read you a bedtime story. You want that? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I just uh, turned the pages and I saw these two good friends again. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, and I remember. Yeah, in our country, in Asia, we also have a similar story, no? Liu Wen Ying Le. Oh, yes. I remember these two friends. They were studying together to become royal scholars. And uh, one of them studied very diligently. And the other friend was just uh, very lazy, did not study well, so he fell. So the other friend have always told him, advised him to study more diligently. But maybe his uh, family was rich or something, so he couldn't care less. So he failed the exam. So the other friend became a royal scholar mm-hmm. and came home, came back to his village with flying colors soldiers and bodyguards and all kinds of uh, glorious uh, tie for him and rewards for him. Mm. And then he had a good office and house to live in, governmental building and all that. And then the other friend had nothing and became poor also. Mm. And then so one day he heard that the one who passed the exam, the royal scholar, came home Yes. yes. Mm. and stayed in the government citadel palace. So he went to see his friend, who now become a big official of the royal court. So he went to visit him. And the one that became a royal official now was sitting inside, making him wait outside a long time, in the scorching sun. And oh. then uh, finally, after many hours, oh no, our official is very, very busy. You please wait. And he said, but I'm his friend. Mm. I'm his close friend, you must let me in right now. And uh, of course, the friend officer already told his guard outside, make him wait. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Say all kinds of excuses. So he keeps waiting, waiting. Mm. He probably thinks, okay, maybe he's too busy and uh, this lousy scoundrel, you know, <laughs> guards of the gate don't really let his friend know that he's here. Mm. They were good friends. Mm. Yes, yes. Sharing everything together since they were young and study together and all that. So he was thinking these guards outside did not brief his official friend now. That's why he let him wait outside. Mm. But he knew. His uh, official friend knew that he was waiting outside. And he deliberately told the guard to make him wait. Mm. All right, because he's very important. He's very busy now. Okay. <laughs> so finally he came in and uh, he wants to see his friend. But his friend uh, pretended that he doesn't know him. Oh. The one that is now a court officer pretended he didn't know him. Yeah. Yes. So he asked his bodyguard to bring him some uh, leftover rice and some bony fish, give it to him. Uh, let him eat and tell him to go home. Mm-hmm. Like that. All right. So oh, this friend was very, very ashamed and very angry. Mm-hmm. He went out and he just thought, what kind of life? His friend doesn't even have loyalty to each other. Mm. Of course, he was blaming heaven and earth. Mm-hmm. And he yes. was sitting near the river bank somewhere, maybe, and uh, wanting to jump or something like that. And then suddenly there was a beautiful young lady passing by and asking what he was doing, why he looked so sad. So he talks, he told her everything in his heart, how he felt and how he was so very heartbroken because his friend betrayed him. Oh, yeah. Uh, blah, 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 blah. So he said, oh, I am so sorry. Mm-hmm. The old lady say, oh, God, <sighs> really tragic, tragic. Uh, well, if you don't mind, my house is nearby here. Mm-hmm. Could you come and have a drink and something instead and continue telling me about it? So he went with her. Mm-hmm. And then from then on, uh, he stayed there. And she said, if he doesn't mind, she can help him to continue to study and she can make money. She weaves expensive cloth to sell to rich people. Yes. Mm. Yes. She has enough money for both of them mm. and for him to study easily. Mm. So he went with her. And then from then on, uh, he stayed there. And, and she said, if he doesn't mind, she can help him to continue to study. And she can make money. She uh, weaves uh, expensive cloth to sell to rich people. Yes. Mm. Yes. She has enough money for both of them mm. and for him to study easily. 
Mm-hmm. So she tell him, "Don't worry about that friend. Just forget him." Uh, people sometimes they are like that. You just take care of yourself now. You go back to study diligently. One day you'll be like him. Then you can revenge. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Why cry now? Why make yourself sad, wasting your time and your youth? You're young. You still can. Mm-hmm. So she kept uh, advising him, consoling him, comforting him. So of course he stayed with her, and he fell in love with her. And uh, many times we tried to <laughs> make it more intimate, and she said, "No, no, 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 not now, not now. You must study well. You must concentrate only on study. And after you become successful, you pass the exam and you become a court official, then we will talk about that. You still have a lot of time." <laughs> okay, <laughs> so every day, every time he wants something, she tells him that, and she really look after him, cooked for him, wash his clothes, make his bed, and took care of the house every day like a beautiful, good, uh, dutiful wife. Except they are not husband and wife. So he was really motivated because he was too ashamed and too angry. Mm. So he really studied well, and then he passed the exam. Oh. Ah, yeah. And he went home, <laughs> just like everyone else. And the first thing he did is that he went to his home to find his lady, but she's no longer there. Oh no! Everything is still there, but the beautiful girl is not there. Oh, oh so he was so sad, so sad. And then the second agenda is that he went to see his friend, of course. Yes. To avenge. <laughs> <laughs> so um, he went there. And uh, the friend this time welcomed him, you know, <laughs> oh, with all splendor and all warmth and friendliness. Oh. But the new court official, his friend, did not uh, accept all this warmth and welcome. He just came to say some sour words. Oh. He said, oh, I would just ask you for some uh, cold rice and some uh, leftovers or something. I didn't come here to expect all this welcome. So... Now I know what human heart are like. I don't think I want to accept anything because he made a big party for him. Mm-hmm. The old friend? Yes. 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 The first court official made a beautiful party and everything invited so many important people around there waiting for him. Yes. yes. They say he doesn't want to accept all of that. He was also very sad because the lady was gone mm. and he doesn't know what happened to her. Mm. So he said, oh, I have to go. I have to go to find my beautiful person who has helped me all these years to repay her the debt and to show her my love because she's the only one I can trust. But I don't know where she's gone. She left. I have to go back home now and find her. So the friend, the older court officer said, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. I I want to introduce you to my wife. Uh, why hurry, okay? Just have a look at her and then you can go. And then she came out and she went, Huh? Oh. <laughs> this is your wife? Oh. He said, Yes, it's my wife. So he said, well, you, you, you explain this to me? So she explained. Mm. She said, For all these years, he sent me to help you. The reason he gave you bad rice and bad food, vegan food, <laughs> is just because he wanted you to be ashamed. He wanted you to be motivated, to study harder, to become somebody, not mm-hmm. to rely on anybody, even on his old friend, his best friend. So now he knew everything. Mm-hmm. Uh, to even sacrifice your wife to your other handsome friend. Imagine. Yeah. What if, you know, <laughs> <laughs> what if she's also in love with him? Sure. And then you lost your friend, you lost your wife too. <laughs> So this is truly a good friend, eh? Yes, yes. yes. good friend. I mean, to sacrifice your life, maybe, I don't know which one is easier. Mm. Because most men, they cling to their wives. Mm-hmm. Yes. yes. Yeah, especially beautiful and young ones. So to even take such a risk for your friend is truly friendship. Yes. 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 And all that time, his friend hated him. Yes. Yeah. And all this time, the, the wife also kept quiet didn't say anything and kept her love for her husband only. This is something admirable, no? Yes. 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 This is another friendship story that I remember. It's very famous. Yes. This kind of friendship is good for people to emulate, to copy, huh? Yes. To learn to emulate. That couple was very noble. Yeah, very noble. 
Yeah. I mean, who would do that? Yeah. Right. For a loser. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For a loser, even. And then risk your wife by giving her to him. And they're daily together. See mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Yes. Daily and nightly together also. Mm -hmm. Maybe they sleep separately. But still, it's a risk. Yes, yes. yes master. And the wife is also such a good wife. Right, yes. She obeyed her husband's wish and wanted sincerely also to help his friend. Imagine that? Yeah. 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 I mean, this is also a very big sacrifice. You understand me? Yes, yes, yes master. It's truly a big nobility. Because many men are so jealous, you know that, right? Right. Yes, yes. Yes. I'm not sure if you know men. <laughs> 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 maybe you had experience, or maybe not. But you know that. Many men, I mean, most men, they are very jealous with their wives. Some people even kill their wives because of jealousy. Yes, yes. When they lost her or when something went wrong in the relationship. Sometimes men look in the news and say, it's so sad. Mm -hmm. yeah. These things happen. And here, a man who has everything already and even risks his wife's affection to help his friend to become someone instead of some useless tramp. So it is truly something, yes. Yes. something to marvel, something to admire, really to salute. Yes, yes, yes master. I mean, for many years. Yes, master. Yes. Not just for one day, two days. Mm -hmm. Yes. For many years, they had to be together. And she had to really work diligently so that he knows that it's genuine. Right. Yeah. Of course, the friend gave money and all that also. But she had to also work. Yeah. Yes. yes. Clean the house, cook the food and all that. Mm. Right. Yeah. Everything, just like a normal lady. Oh, what people. I really admire them very much. And it's a true story. Oh. oh. True story. True legend. Even I knew about it when I was young already, so <laughs> it must be very famous. No. Oh. It's a true famous legend. Okay, I was going to read you something, but I think we stop here, huh? Yes, Master. Yes, okay, master. master. Thank you, Master. Thank, Thank you, master. master. Too much excitement. <laughs> <Tied me out. laughs> yes. Next time I will read you the story about a rabbi from Egypt. Okay. Okay, master. Okay, yes. master. Thank you, master. Thank you, master. Thank you, master. Yeah, a rabbi, good rabbi from Egypt. Uh, I wish you a good evening, good night, and talk to you next time. Thank you, master. Thank you, master. Thank you, master. Have a good Peace, evening. Master. Thank you. Same to you guys. God bless. God bless, master. master. Love you. Love you, master. And thank you for trying hard. Ciao. Ciao, Master. Ciao, Master. Bye, Master.